Man. This is crazy. Sunday night, West Juice Claire Metz spoke with the victim's mother who shared a harrowing story. 78-year-old man is accused of shooting and killing his neighbor in DeLeon Springs in a dispute over tree trimming. This is a wild story. Edward Druzelowski is charged with second-degree murder in the death of 42-year-old Brian Ford just after 7 o'clock Sunday night. West Juice Claire Metz spoke with the victim's mother who shared a harrowing story. I grabbed my walker and I started out to the backyard. I only saw the little one running around screaming, he shot my dad, he shot my dad. Linda Ford says the unthinkable happened in her own backyard Sunday night. Her 42-year-old son, Brian Ford, this is a picture of him, was shot and killed in front of his son, an eight-year-old boy. Deputies say a neighbor, 78-year-old Edward Druzelowski, was angry Ford was on his property trimming tree limbs. Druzelowski allegedly threatened to shoot Brian Ford, then did. I saw Ed over my son's body. I didn't see my son's body, just the tree limbs, so he was in the tree limbs. With a gun facing right towards his chest. The court will currently hold you under bond. At the suspect's first court appearance, a judge ordered Druzelowski held without bond, despite an argument from his court-appointed attorney that he has no previous criminal history. The prosecutor told the court the suspect made admissions, and in a 911 call just released, Druzelowski told the operator he brought his gun to challenge the neighbor about <coughs> cutting limbs. I was pointing a gun at him at the time to get him off my property. Right. And then uh, and he kept walking towards me really close, so I shot him. Hands on top of your head! The suspect was waiting when deputies arrived on scene. It was the suspect's wife who initially called 911 after her husband left the house to confront the victim. My husband took his gun, but I think he meant to scare him, but I think he killed him. <laughs> he, he killed your neighbor? I think so. He's, he's a movie. Despite life-saving efforts by first responders, Brian Ford died of his injury. His mother says they're all devastated. Ford's eight-year-old son, her grandson, inconsolable. He's screaming. He shot my dad. He wanted to go over and lay on top of his dad's body. According to the arrest report, the suspect told sheriff's deputies he had not had a problem with the victim, but heard the victim had a reputation and said he felt safer confronting him with a gun. In Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News. The victim's mother claims that her son was not on the neighbor's property in the first place. She says her property extends two feet outside the fence where her son was working. You know, good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, that has got to be one of the more crazier stories um, because I'm I'm cutting tree branches down right now and I cannot imagine somebody shooting me in front of my grandkids or my kids because they claim I'm on their property when all I have to do is call the surveyor out or call the police but see this is one of the reasons that I say this is one of the reasons that I say and we really gonna have to get a, a, a grip on this gun shit. Because you got people, older people, they got guns and they sitting them by the door and they get to see now and they, they this is a mess. And my heart goes out to the family and the little boy, I, regardless of their color, I don't really care about that. What I care about is you brutally murdered. A little boy's father right in front of him. You dumb fuck. Oh. Um, he's held without bond. I hope they don't let his ass out at all. Um, because he don't deserve free. At all. He needs to spend the rest of his days locked up. Because that that is so senseless. So damn senseless that it's hard for me to even put into words. I want to know what y'all think about it. This happening in crazy ass Florida. Okay, I 
I could have just said it, right? I'll let y'all guess. In Volusia County, neighbor accused of killing a 42-year-old father while he was over his mother's house, trimming her damn bushes. I want to know what y'all think about this story. It's sad. It's sad. It's just disgusting. Jeez. All right. I'm going to go. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. I'll see you in the next